Hi, I'm Roya and this is my book. I actually went, uh, tried to go the traditional route for a long time. I spent years looking for an agent and all of that. Um, but long story short, I'm in a band, something happened. Um, we were, um, everything was a bit more demanding and I had too much on my plate to keep having the goal of getting published just hanging over my head. And since I enjoy marketing and all that stuff, um, I decided to take my take matters into my own hands and promote the book myself. What happened first was I published this as an ebook, and um, then about a year later, I got it published in print. Um, I found an independent publisher who would do that. But marketing a book is a little bit tricky. Um, not as many people are gonna check it out as if you're marketing, you know, music or something like that. Um, so um, here are a lot of tips to keep in mind when you're trying to sell your book. If your book is available in stores, that's really awesome. But without the marketing, um, you're not going to get more than maybe the occasional person haunting the bookstore to buy it. Which is great, because if you can get the occasional person just browsing the bookstore to buy it, that's already wonderful. But um, most of your sales are pretty much going to be people who have heard of it already and decide to you know buy it when they see it at the bookstore because they've already heard about it. There are a lot of things that you really need to do to um, make your self-published or independent book um, a success. So first of all, if you haven't published it yet, um, before you publish it, make sure you have someone edit it. And I don't mean just copy editing, I mean actual editing, like someone who's gonna cross out whole paragraphs and say you don't need this and all that stuff. Because I see a lot of self-published books that really do suffer in terms of um, their editing. So yeah, that's tip number one, hire an editor. <laughs> Also, make sure when you are publishing it that you already have a cover and a summary of some sort ready. Um, because you don't want to, you know, be about to publish it and then suddenly go, oh wait, I need a cover and a summary. So also, obviously, as I mentioned, a book isn't going to promote itself, even if it is in stores. Um, so in addition to telling everyone you've ever met that you wrote a book and everything, um, you should make a Facebook page for it, post about it on Twitter, I mean, there's a lot of free promo promotion out there that you can take advantage of. There are some good hashtags to use on Twitter, too. If you use hashtag bookboost, there's um, an account that will um, retweet that. And then also um, hashtag BYNR stands for book your next read. Um, and hashtag A I A okay, it's hashtag IARTG. It stands for independent author retweet group. Um, and those are um, hashtags that people actually go on Twitter and look for. Uh, telling everyone about your book um, can be a little bit scary to do if you're not, if you aren't used to self-promotion and all that stuff and you feel kind of weird about promoting yourself. <laughs> Just practice, I guess. I mean, um, and honestly, once you get some friends to read it or something, they'll start telling people about it too before you even like think about it. I mean, I'm lucky to have a wonderful boyfriend who um, tells people about my book just every chance he gets when, before I even think to, um, which is really pretty, pretty amazing. So a lot of times I don't even have to mention it myself. <laughs> Any exposure is good exposure. And um, there are a lot of book related blogs out there that will review your book or at least mention it. Um, and some don't um, mention self-published books and whatnot, but some do. Also book reviewers too. There are some sites that have lists of whole of book reviewers with the genres and everything that they um, uh, that they review and don't review and all that stuff. So just check them out and see which ones review your genre and send your book to them. But don't send the whole manuscript, just send like the first chapter or something. And then just say, tell them to contact you if they um, think it's interesting and want to review it and want the whole thing. Also, if you don't have that many Amazon reviews, um, if you have like two Amazon reviews and you're wondering why you don't have more, um, you should be um, telling your beta readers or any friends that, who have read your book already and all that stuff to, to review it. 
And also some book reviewers will actually do that as well. In addition to posting it on their site, they'll post a review on the Amazon page too. Um, so that's a good way to get your, your reviews up a little bit. And also if your book is available as an ebook, don't charge like a dollar for the ebook. Charge like five bucks or something, like three, four, five bucks. Because if you just charge a dollar for the ebook, people will think that it's not good enough. They might think, oh, it's so cheap, that must mean it's not as good, or something like that. Like, charge what it's worth, because if you worked really, really hard on your book, like, you deserve to be making more than, you know, a dollar um, on your book. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. And you will you might actually get a lot more sales that way. You never know. So, I hope you enjoyed our fabulous um, <laughs> video about uh, tips for self-publishing and independent publishing. Um, good luck, everyone.